Welcome back to the book club. Today we're going to be reviewing An Abundance of Scorpions by Hadiza Ismail Rafai. I like the fact like when I was reading the book it felt very familiar. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the characters I felt like I knew these people. Like it was just very yeah, those are like people that I know and people like I can relate to and stuff like that. So like what did you guys think of the book? Cuz I'm not the best host. I always tell you guys, guys, you need to read the book, but like I don't know. I I've, I've been finding it really hard to finish books. But I like I really like the fact that a lot of the characters and the settings was very familiar. Like it felt like people I knew like aunties or like people that you always meet like in your house, in your friends' houses. So I was like, yeah, these are normal people. Like a lot of the time you read Nigerian books and you're like you don't particularly relate to them on a very familiar level and so I felt like I could relate to this on a familiar level. But like there were definitely things that irritated me that we will talk about later but yeah um okay i was surprised by how much i actually enjoyed the book i funny story had this book for, around me for like a very long time and it wasn't until like we decided okay we want to do this book that i picked it up and i finished it like okay not very quickly but it was a very easy read um I liked how the beginning of the book, the narration and the intimacy that was set up in the beginning of the book just kind of set the tone for the the no it just set the tone for like the impact of the loss and it made I think the reader relate so much more to the loss that she felt because it was like it was almost like being hit by a truck you know, like, yeah, 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 like, because it's just like, <laughs> whoa, is, like, I did not see that coming. A lot of the time, you see Ari well, well woman, and like, oh, yeah, I had to marry my husband. And it's like, this time, it's like, nah, she you wanted know, yeah, to marry like, like, story, and, like, like the time, the setting, and yeah. all. Like, I chose my husband, he wasn't just yeah. shoved onto me, so we I can't really... that, but we know that she loved Yeah, you could, yeah, yeah, you know, like, it was just evidence. Yeah. You know, even like so, the relationship between the children, I was not children, the child, the you the know, one baby. the one, one baby with like the father, and like it was just so cute. It was so much in just like a short mm. chapter, and I think it was like the heaviest chapter. That like, chapter the entire, was like the richest was, chapter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That chapter was the book for me. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I actually read the book in let's see. Okay, you guys should see the cover. Yeah, <laughs> just so that I'll start that. I've, this is not a cover that will make you want, want to, to pick it up, to be honest. So I guess that's why it took me some time to read yeah. it. But it was such a well-written book. Or rather, it's such a well-written book. You can tell, like, she she wanted to write a book and she was not ready to play around. Yeah. I, I also feel like that's why shocked it's by, like, to... that intimacy scene in the beginning. I was like, okay, this is not wow. going to be a typical Ariwa yeah. book. Then, like, and but it ended up being... Quite, quite na- na- typical. Mean, yeah, because I think I the reason for the for the typicalness of it is because the you can't really was like stray thing. away from the realities of like the area. That's the thing. You know, yeah. it's, it's still what it is, and as far as you want to like do the whole open minded thing yeah. and like outside the box, it's still the reality. I, I feel like I get your point. Like I was telling you earlier, I could feel like the narrator could have been my auntie. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I oh, yeah, so that like was that. like the awkwardness for in the beginning. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, Auntie, I see you. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah, but it's such yeah. a well written book. Like, mm. it's seriously, can I use like uh, Nigeria Vanakura? Yeah. yeah. It was, there was no Jaga Jaga. Yeah, no, it, it was, was well written. I feel like it's it's not the story. I'm not saying the story is, is okay, but it's not the story that makes it easy to read. Is because it's well written. That's yeah. my opinion. Like there, there are no hiccups, so you can easily flip. The flow is so yeah. just There's like a, yeah. effortless. But like about the cover of the book, what I find really interesting is it's so clean, 
but the meaning behind the cover it only gets revealed to you once. When you read once it. you say yeah. exactly, just, and like I can't I can't tell you how many times just reading the book I'll just close the page I'm just like look at girl like, me too. look and at it, it. Me too. Yeah, and it's me like, too. like and like the this the shoes the empty I, I do not think, yeah. like I you don't, don't even like know that it. no you First keep time. going back to the cover but I mean oh my god I just realized they don't have they don't yeah and she's like wow you know so but then there's a thing if you want like to sell a book so for yeah, people see, that's who why don't, you know, don't judge want, a book by the so cover so for people okay. who don't like, know that's how why. many of us do that if you, you go to a bookstore <laughs> are you not I going know, to right? check but then the that's cover. why you should also read the back that's what, what should we talk about like the title yeah I'm, I'm surprised where it was drawn from it, book because the entire theme of the book felt like okay in that one line when she said there's an abundance of scorpions and snakes it felt like after that period, mm -hmm. the entire book was just narrating her life, how she is like surrounded by an abundance of like scorpions and snakes and like trials and tribulations. And what is so interesting for me is the theme of strength and perseverance. Yeah. You know, and right. I don't want to say it's like almost cliche. I mean, no, it's not even like cliche how, because how like how much can one person take? That's what you keep asking, like, whoa, sis. Like, and she's she's such a bright character through it all. Yeah. You know? Like, her positive vibe is shocking. It's like, inspiring. Like, borrow me, like, <laughs> give it to me. Oh, yeah. It's like, but yeah. It's, her it's also the trope, like, of, especially because she's, you know, a widow, like, the wit, like, she just takes it all on. And I'm like, but is that really realistic? Like, she doesn't really snap. At any point, like I want to help you. I mean, she's gone. She snapped at her she, sister in law. Did she? She did yeah, a little. That, I mean, okay. I would have okay. yeah, but her, her nephew house. almost died and she, she did a little bit. Yeah, what she needs to understand is like you're praising like her strength and perseverance and all of yeah. that, but you also need to kind of understand that okay, this character is not, it's not that she's like so. 100% this boss lady thing. She had to come yeah, into that at some point. But I think the majority of her like personality is that of like a pushover. So it's very yeah, easy yeah, for her to like the, not yeah. be the kind of person that's going to snap yeah. and be like, you can't go like yeah. I couldn't. And I couldn't then you read it and you just hope like be this person. And every time she was angry, the book justified it more than enough. Like yeah. every normal person, like you would understand, like like moments. sis, you're not even she, acting out the way was, you should. She like, was like the most irrational, like the most rational person ever, ever yeah. in a character. Ever, like <laughs> another thing I really enjoyed about this book was theme of how like the book is set in I think the early nineties, late nineties, late nineties, like, because. Abuja began 97. No, but some sometime, like I read a bit of 1996 there, so let's just say mid 90s. Okay, so mid but like, it, yeah. it, it just was not even this period. It wasn't like our generation, but yeah. a lot of the times there were things I was reading in there and I was yeah. like, this could have been written in no. our like present day times and situations. So do you think you know? it was true to its time? Like the timeline the author gave for the assigned to the book, do you think like the book met up to it? Like it was true to Personally that? I can't say because that's not a like a it's not it's not a generation that I'm f exactly it's not a perspective yeah. that I personally have. So. But what I understand is what I I think it's a perspective that the author has. Yeah. So there's a lot of the, that like personal touch the the information that only somebody who lived through this era can actually I did. provide. I did. You lived through that for like one year. Exactly, like I lived I through the era for more before. than one year. You know, but no, like, no, I, you no, I'm not. Like, I'm were, not about to like say my age. Was, or, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, okay. So like the theme of Christianity and ethnicity, Christianity Yo, versus Islam, and things like that. Something that I found like so interesting, and I'm curious. Oh, I don't think it will not be true. It's like how they divide religion in the orphan ages, like the children they find. So this yeah, child was Christian, the next one will be Muslim, that's the next one will be that's Christian. Bit, you know, that that was maybe like just a little bit ridiculous, but but yeah, you know, it it, it, would, it would make sense because like how then do you like in the in the narration when she when she asks her, do you have a better idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah like even you are just like drawing blanks. Like, like okay, it, like, yeah, it still doesn't. It doesn't like. Logically, for a logical person, it's like the, this. It's like 
more than slightly problematic but yeah. so like the balance uh, between like uh, christianity and islam i found that like okay like girl i was just reading too much of religion inside it not in that way but it's like it was so nigerian in a way that you know how we are christian and muslim first in nigeria mm -hmm. this book gave me that vibe and that's incredible like i think because it's just painting a clear it's picture true, yeah. of our like reality our reality you know? so like like you know how really because there was just so much mention of yeah. um, religion yeah. somehow because even like just talking about the children in the before orphanage, you talk about yeah. esther i can't even mention like Oh, oh yeah, like, the right Christian yeah. woman. No, you both the had Roma children. Like, it's, 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 no, like, like, like as descriptive. Yeah. And I feel like if it, if you like if the attempt was to go for like explaining all of these mix-ups, like okay, we have uh, mix-ups like the, like my friend group, like then we have like an inter-religious family yeah, and yeah. everything. So if the point was for unity, I feel like the book missed it. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't think the point was for me. I, read, it I was remember real. reading the review. And it someone was called real. It, like used the term like unity in diversity. But I just I feel like what the book is trying to do is not necessarily say there's unity, but point out the potentials for unity. But also the fact that because we are such a, like a melting pot of everything, it really described the fact that we're yeah. We're yeah. So it's unity. like it's bringing these things to the surface. But you know, and like I pointing out like how like Nigerians are very quick to describe somebody as a Muslim as, first yeah, or a Christian first. It did that, that for me. And yeah. I've never really understood how like would come like that forms. Anyway, to be honest, yeah, I know why that forms like a major part of our identity. But I feel like it was just for me a bit disappointing to see it so much. Like, yeah, you know, like read it. That's like, the point of the book, though. I yeah. don't think there's a lot of things in the book that I don't think you're supposed to read and not be disappointed because it's just like, yeah. this is my country. This is like, this is a reality. This is the way and, the thing, you know, like, this is how it goes. But it, the character was an amazing one. No, she's an amazing woman. Like, like the, uh, she's, she's yeah. phenomenal. And you know, the thing is, I can't help but imagine what the author herself would be like to be able to like imagine a character like this and like paint her so. Do well. You know, I kept my mind kept on going. Like my my mind kept on going to like. And you know, what's the author like? Yeah. What is the author like? Especially also like the personal touch of her being someone who has like suffered like great loss in her life she's like you know like two i children. like like i really related to that no. i really like you know put that together and then i remember at the beginning of the book where she was like at the beginning of the middle where she was like whoever says like their stages to loss hasn't really yeah. experienced loss Before. then towards the end of the book her like her the way she portrayed to, loss was yeah. very different because she described it as a scar you know a scar that still hurts i, I think if i'm correct so i feel like we we went with her through her journey from mm -hmm. like an open wound to a scar yeah. so maybe yeah there are stages to yeah. loss yeah definitely and at first maybe it's just unbelievable yeah. but then it gets there's better. yeah because life goes Does on get better I, I mean, but that's what I mean. Yeah, by that's the way. Right thing this is exactly because, yeah, like, that's great. why I feel like she does so great in this book. Like, only somebody who has been through this journey can take you through, like, not necessarily through it, but can give you an idea of what it might feel, feel like, like. Yeah, you know, and that's just like kudos on that and like sharing that like vulnerability and like being so courageous as to like pen the. Yeah, just, that that yeah. that takes courage. Yeah. So yeah, for me, like to wrap it up is, <laughs> I did not <laughs> relate with any character. You know, for a book painted in northern Nigeria, I wish I saw myself somehow. Yeah, I definitely saw myself in uh, like some bits no, of, no. of like I really, because maybe there was I, I like I needed any... like a little bit of you know. Do we Oh Jesus! <laughs> you, you tell me. Like I 
really? That's gonna happen. It's oh, gonna girl. Happen. I, I just needed it small. Like, I needed this small. I wish, I wish, I wish yeah. she had sex with that kind allergy. So that mean... helps me a little bit to understand, like, mm, just she's not perfect. Do yeah. you get? Do you even yeah. get? So, but you know what I liked about it that wasn't scene? Exciting. It wasn't was an exciting, exciting it wasn't book for me because the character loved the writing. I have to say it again. But the, oh uh, no, I just needed a little bit of, you know, post bass. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> but like what you said about like, bass uh, you, you wishing she had sex with the allergy at the end, yeah. I don't even think that scene is like a reflection of her perfection, but rather the man's determination to not be like every other kind of man. Because oh, yes. she wasn't the one to end it. it. Like she says in the book, if it were left to her, it would not like have ended the way it yes. did. I, you she know, she was the one to be like, you know what? She didn't go for that. Let's the brakes on this. She didn't go for that, but uh, men play mind games. So I wouldn't even give any credit to that kind of behavior because maybe it's just like, okay, see me as this, but like, it's not your booty that I want. Like, see me as that. <laughs> but really, who knows? Yeah, and then it might make you feel fall deeper into it so uh last but you know like i feel like people are like they're both middle-aged people do they really have the time to play these kind of games i don't know i don't you know, know like, how it he's, goes he's like, married she's like you know i don't think i don't that's why i i felt like it's not really a reflection of her but a reflection of the man and like as a way to kind of let us know that okay this book is ending but she's in good hands Jealous. I don't know if you told anything serious about his character. I didn't really get that. Ah, me, I think it did though, because like I don't know how many men would be in that situation and would hit the brakes. You know, not the girl hitting the brakes, but like him. So like you know. So yeah, 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 yeah. The ending, how we ended. So many people are crying about that. So many people yeah. can't take it. I wish we were part of like her happy ending. Like we were, th we, we were I feel like that. we were on this journey together. And when it gets good, when she's we going to denied. finally be in a good place, you don't even get to see her in that good place, like concretely and be sure that, okay, this is what happens. We just get hinted on the fact that like it gets better. And that's what I like about the, the book too. Yeah. It's like, it hints that it gets better. It's not necessarily easy, but it gets better. Okay. Yeah. So. Important to talk about also in this book are the themes, themes exactly Say of one. family, friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Womanhood. Yeah. That's you know. a good one. <laughs> so family. And how like you need people. Like mm. you need people you know, to you climb up. You need people. So, Not even just to climb up. To stay sane. Now you're trying yeah. to make me look like I'm a god. <laughs> to climb up. You need people to climb up. Your network is what your she network. Said. No, tr oh, okay. Girl, motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, her friends really came true for her. Her yeah. friend, like one friend. Can we, yeah, can we? Friends. No, like friends, just two, you know, like people. just two <laughs> friends, literally. They came true. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know that 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 I think emphasized quality over quantity. You know, that's what it is, really, at the end of the day. And then her family, and not even like her immediate family, her husband, her late husband's family, who yeah, like took her in like they literally took her as one of their and own the love and it was so busy the love it was dying. so i kept expecting the like her in-laws to come and tell her that like tambaya keskia we cannot keep feeding you go and find a man who will take care of you because that's the reality or go back to your village that's the reality how did we not you talk know? about mrs Oh yes, that's the other theme, corruption. Ha! Oh, oh. <laughs> good. Corruption in Nigeria. This was my notes from the police you know on the road. You know the They are my good Christian parts. Like I care a lot about the, like oh, you I know the care funny about thing the children. The sad perspective on the whole corruption thing was like when she finally even has like it has to have to be Miss Scholastica and like Miss Scholastica is even trying to, she's like helping the children. She's just trying to so get how? something for so herself. No, but babe, you know, <laughs> that's the thing. A lot of corrupt people in Nigeria don't even see what they're doing as corruption. Yeah, because yeah. that's like, you, they're they doing as surviving. Yeah, because like, corruption is, is as little as the way you treat the person who you have influence and power over. Yeah. Just like in your daily, everyday life. It's not about like, oh, I'm in power. I have access to 
a so national so cake. You know, you know? Yeah, we're, we're actually yeah, yeah, done, yeah. guys. We're done with yeah. rolling. Oh, but like, I want to end on like the quotes that I really enjoyed. Just okay, a quote that I really enjoyed from the book. Okay, yeah. When Esther tells Tambaya, they're like, um, oh girl, you cannot be a lady in a place where there are no gentlemen. I don't know, that just kind Who of struck me. a lady when you're already a woman? That's not the point. And <laughs> that's that. supposed to be like a quote, guys. Put me on some book and put my name after it. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, yeah. No, like, well, oh, but that's, I don't think that was your quote. Your network is your net worth. No, I that one, but this last one. Guys, we're really done. No. Curry, Why the side you look at Gatesfield Book Club. That's no. it. That's my, that's my original yeah, quest. No, that, that, let, let's and I'm in business. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget your network. It's your network, so exploit them. That, oh. That's bad advice. No, no, don't, don't take listen that. To mama. Love your network. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Most importantly, read the book. Please, like, edit out that part that I said exploit them. <laughs> <laughs>